Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1,763. And this is called, Just Because You Don't Have Me. Some people see dating as a sport. They crave the attention they get from those who love because they know the power that it could have, the things people would do for it. This could be dangerous, especially when the emotions keep growing stronger and stronger. The idea of you to them is just another trophy on their mantle. You think you did something wrong, especially since he's out, already on to the next victim on the list. Don't worry, you always be a reminder to him of something he could never have. Pick up those pieces and recollect yourself. Don't give up on what you want. Just be aware. <clears throat> Just because you don't have me. I really thought your heart was pure. I guess the joke was on me. And I was wrong. So it's true what they say. You don't know what you have until it's gone. What I don't understand, why does it have to be me that pays for this lesson? When you were the one that obviously needed it most. Now you're already on to the next one, already posting selfies with him in it with no guilt or remorse. In order to completely understand the story, I have to tell you how it started. You said you needed to have me, that you've been following me for so long, listening to my poetry, intrigued by my stories and liking every single selfie. And when we went out on that first date, your eyes were just on me, hanging on to every single word I said. I assumed finally the real thing, someone who cares and wants me for me. I didn't make anything official just yet, especially for my past. That's so hard, still so hard to trust. I should have listened to my friends when I had the chance. Yeah, you were honest about your past, but you said that's all it was, your past. I never thought with just how much you were consumed with me, you would be repeating those patterns. You loved the taste of my lips, the sound of my laugh, the smell of my cologne, the way I would whisper Spanish words in your ear to turn you on, grabbing me close and feeling our bodies together. When I'd read you at night, my mind kept remembering all your favorite things. But were these just words you were saying to keep me going? Here I am in my bedroom trying to think why I didn't see the invisible line. Is love really that blind? This whole time I was planning on building a future and all you were doing were playing games. The joke really was on me. Thank God I didn't say I love you. Only problem is I really did mean it. Now I see that you never really wanted me. It was all a sport. You just wanted to put another trophy on your mantle. You assumed finally the real thing. Someone who cares and wants you. Of course, you loving all the attention. Because when I care, I put all my heart in. I guess that's why you needed me in your collection. Time goes on, and it has. Helping me heal every piece of my heart. Mending it stronger, but not giving up on the idea of love. Just being more alert to who's. That's for you. I really don't care what your heart is made of. There was one thing I was wrong about when it came to you. I thought it was just because you didn't have me that you wanted me. You know the idea? But the truth is, in every message, every text, every dozen roses that you send my way. So it's true what they say. You don't know what you have until it's gone. I hope you really learned your lesson this time. And I wish you the best.